In Los Angeles, it seems everyone's talking about the big one. I, I wish sometimes that people would just talk, stop talking about it, you know, like they say, don't say, you know, because they'll come to you. Seismologists say it's not just the stuff of legend. A major earthquake, magnitude 6.5 to 8, is almost certain to rattle the landscape of Southern California in the next 30 years. It could be a deadly magnitude 7.5 quake along one of the many smaller fault lines here, like the Puente Hills, which runs under the Los Angeles skyline and a population of 4 million. But even that is not the nightmare scenario. The nightmare scenario would be a very large San Andreas rupture, and it's going to affect millions of people in Southern California. A major earthquake erupts along the northern and southern runs of the San Andreas once every 150 to 200 years. The last one here in L.A. was 1857, 157 years ago. The last one in the north was 1906. We always have to be prepared for anything. You, know, you never know when it's going to happen or when it's going to occur. Scientists say they don't know if it's possible to see an even more catastrophic scenario, with one quake striking all along the hundreds of miles of the San Andreas, running the length of California. Predicting quakes has always been the seismologist's holy grail. The scientists believe that predicting earthquakes is fundamentally impossible. Evaluate our, the probabilities. And uh, here in California, we're sure that we're going to go through a big one, you know, many times soon. The U.S. Geological Survey is testing a new early warning system. Minor quakes rattle the Southern California landscape hundreds of times each year. There were around 200 in the past two weeks alone. Make that 201. Earthquake. No. <laughs> this one happened during our interview. Earthquake, no, no shaking, shaking expected in. This was our early warning system. And so we got about uh, five or six seconds warning. That might help in smaller quakes, but if the big one hits LA, a few seconds warning might be just long enough to say goodbye. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Los Angeles.